We called it paradise when we first came here. We hope that's what we found when we discovered what we came looking for, gold. But that was before. Hey, man. No, 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 no. I'm in the car right now. Yeah. No, I'll be there in five minutes. Just a second. Get out of the road! Get out of the road! Yeah, no, dude, the traffic is just it's crazy right now. I'll be there in five minutes, I promise. All right? Oh! Looks like someone's in need of some serious therapy. And, as usual, you're late. Well, time, as you know, is a myth perpetuated by society, not a convention I conform right, to. Right, right. Well, I am a conformist who wants to graduate from college. Should be studying for my finals right now, but I'm here as your wingman because you're too much of a pussy to ask Jess out by yourself. I know, and I love you for it. Yeah, yeah. God damn it. I can't believe I don't get slept You think she's already gone? Why don't you just chill out? Why don't you use this time to give me this, this bullshit story I'm supposed to stick to you for this harebrained trip? What do you mean? I told you the plan yesterday. Look, we're going to that old abandoned ghost town up north called Paradise. It's part of a school research project. And Jess is going because, you know, she's a history and anthropology major, so she can maybe try to figure out how and why the place became a ghost town. And then I'm going because... You're an idiot. So, I'm here... Uh, why? I mean, what's, what's my excuse for this, this crazy trip? Ugh. Geology? Right? Um, I mean, you think there might be gold in the town, and so you want to come and check it out. What? You told her I'm hunting for gold? I didn't know what else to say. You, you made, made me sound like a complete jackass. No, I'm sorry, it was the only thing I could think of. Oh. Dude, you're an asshole. This is just so insane. What, so you think that this is crazy? Uh, yeah. I think you've been staring at this girl for the past eight months, uh, but you're, you're, look at you, you're too uptight to do anything about it, so you... You come up with this idiot scheme to drag her out to the middle of nowhere in the hope she's gonna somehow succumb to your charms? Yeah, how dare I even think of using the word crazy to describe you. See, fuck you, man, you're not helping. Right, right, right. I just thought it was the easiest thing. Okay. You're going. Real nice, real nice, Kyle. Hey, come on, man, don't make me go by myself. Yeah. What are we gonna do when she gets in the car and she sees there's no mining tools? Mining tools? What tools do you need for mining gold? I don't know, like, like a hammer and a pick? Okay, dude, first off, we're not really mining for gold. I made that up. Well, when she gets in the car and sees there's no tools, she's gonna figure that one out, dumbass. Dude, you're stressing me out. Can you please just be cool, man? Just play along just oh, this hey, once. Hey, what's up, Jess? Yeah, I'm hunting Dude, I'm begging you. Look, I'm fucking begging you. Just stop. Please. <laughs> you like this girl, huh? <sighs> I just hope she shows up. I think she will. Hey. Look, when she gets here, do you mind getting in the back seat? What? Please. Unbelievable. From shotgun to third wheel and one easy step. Please, I'm not gonna make her sit back there. Come on. <sighs> Please. Fine. Fine. Thanks. I'm not gonna smile about it. All right, that's fine. Just be nice. I'll be nice. I'll be nice. You be nice. I will. Oh. Hey. Hi, guys. 
Hope we didn't keep you waiting too long. Who the fuck is this guy? Yeah, sorry. It's kind of hard dragging this one out of bed. <gasps> Hi, Kyle. Hey. This is Rob. Hi. Hi. And it's Ben, right? Yeah, yeah. Hey, cool, cool. So? Yeah, okay. So, bag? Ah, you can throw your bags in here. Oh, great. Thank you. Thanks, dude. <laughs> Oh, hey, uh, we'll take the back seat. I mean, cool. Yeah, yeah. Totally. Oh. You all. I can scoot forward if you want. Oh, no. So, gentlemen, how long is it supposed to take to get there? Uh, a few hours. A few hours. You are aware that in a few hours, instead, we could be in Las Vegas having a room. Stop with it. You and we would be... Nope. Let's go. Yes, let's. Can't wait. We're going So, what's the story, Rob? Uh, the story? Yeah, you know, you're like a football team guy, or uh, what's, your, what's your deal? No, I um, actually blew out my knee in high school, so kind of gave up on sports as the path to fame and fortune. Oh, shit. It sucks, right? So what you do instead? I'm studying discrete math. <laughs> what the fuck is discrete math? It's one of the dull sides of software development. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. He's a computer geek, just like you. Uh, I mean, uh, no, offense. Oh, shit. Well, what's up, Kyle? I think we missed the turn. So, where exactly are we going? Paradise. It's an old mining town. California Gold Rush. Hey, well, now it looks like some kind of ghost town. Somebody uh, steal your town? No, it's a little ways further in if you're still interested. Why wouldn't we be? Well, we drove all this way out here. Yeah, man. What's the plan? Well, there's a... There's a, um... There's an old gold mine... somewhere. Yeah, it's about a half mile in um, that direction. Let's go. We'll catch up with you guys in a second. <laughs> You're being such a dick right now. I'm being a dick. What about the whole little car ride chit chat with Rob? Oh, what's the story? Math? Cool. Blah, blah, blah. What do you want me to do? Sit in complete silence like you for four hours? Fuck. What am I even doing here? What the fuck are any of us even doing here? Can you just keep your voice down? This is all your, your stupid idea just because you're too much of a pussy to ask Jess out? Nice. Yeah, it is nice. And now you're just pissed because Big Rob had the balls to do what you couldn't. Screw this, Kyle. Look at this thing. Crazy contraption. Whoa. Huh. Check it out. I've been on this ride. Oh, it's cool. Yeah, it's got the two loops and then reverses at the end. This is where they take the tickets. Let's just go back. It's 
to talk no about. No way, I want to check it out. I was kidding. That's rad. Well, my doctor says I have high cholesterol, so do you have any vegan food? <laughs> yes, no burgers here. Mm. <laughs> we have veggie patties. <laughs> Sounds golden. Yeah. Oh. God damn, that's good. some gold. Mm, yes, probably not. Wait, you think it's safe in there? Only one way to find out. Excuse me, Rob? <laughs> Anybody coming? Yeah, no. Knock yourself out, geology boy. <sighs> Gonna need a flashlight? Do you have one? Um, no. Well, then be careful. Yeah, obviously. Are you okay? Yeah. Oh, damn Are you rich? What? From the gold mine? Is that funny, Rob? No, I was just saying, are we no, rich? No, we're not rich. I just saw a wolf. A wolf? Yeah, right up there. Come on, you didn't see a wolf. No, I did. It was right up there. Do you even know the difference between a wolf and a coyote? No. Exactly. Hey, where are you guys going? Listen, guys, enough's enough. I mean, we still have enough time to go home, maybe head back to town. Let's go to Vegas. Let's do something fun. Right? No. We can't leave. Why? Because we spent all this time to come up here and we're not going to see the town? Come on, Kyle. This was your idea. This is your trip. You should take the lead. All right. All right. Either way.
further are we going? It's like a mile up the road. Oh. Yeah, it's on like a 16-mile <laughs> hike already. Dude, relax. The car's right there. <laughs> and by the way, can I just... <laughs> would be running down hills like a fucking pussy. Oh, oh quote unquote, wolf. Oh, shut up. I mean, how you know I'm gonna cut? Like would be running down the hills saying you saw a fucking wolf. Dude, I did see. Did fuck you? Why did you just? It was about some brave guy running down the hill. Oh, oh right. some a coyote. <laughs> 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 did you guys see a wolf? Yeah, I didn't think so. sense of humor too. You're scared. Wow. I think you should shut the hell up. Really? Okay. Oh Kyle, this place is amazing. What's its history? Um well it's actually what kind of makes this place interesting. See a bunch of 49ers came here and supposedly found gold, but then a year later this whole place was just a ghost town. It's not a mystery. I mean, people came, didn't find gold, or didn't find enough, and then picked up sticks and left. Oh, come on. Where's your sense of wonder and romance? You know what? I think you need to be a little more open to things. It's cool and all, Jess, but you know how it goes. You find a dull and boring answer to a problem, that's probably it. Right, like math. <laughs> Suit yourselves. You know what? You're right, Jess. Let's explore your ghost town. <laughs> Find some romance. It's coming! <laughs> you happy now? I mean, this, this whole clusterfuck is your fault. And now I just... Uh, you know, I, I don't even know what to say anymore. The thing to do would just be to quit. This place sucks. Fuck this, man. Hey, hey, where are you going? Who the fuck knows? All right, great, yeah, go have another walk. I will, thanks. Fuck off. Fucking dick. Uh, he's just looking around outside. 
Did you guys find anything interesting? Nope. Are you kidding? This whole place is interesting. Anyone want a drink? What you got? Well, by the looks of things, dust. Not a whole lot more. I'm good. It's a good thing that happens to be my favorite. Well, then here you go. Let's see. There we go. He ain't having any. <clears throat> How about another? Pretty little cowgirl like you, I suppose I'll take another. <laughs> to us. <coughs> I, got, I got dust in my mouth. Well, that's not too smart now, is it? That's some strong dust. One Kyle, I'm sitting here walking by myself in the goddamn forest. Stupid bastard. Well, real funny, Kyle. Look, if you come to apologize, and just apologize. Stop screwing around, all right, man? You an idiot. Stupid you get me. Come on this freaking trip, Ben. It's gonna be a great time. Oh, real cute, Kyle. Real cute. Well, just apologize, man. Stop screwing around. Stupid trip. I don't even know why. Stop playing games, man. really want to strike it rich what we should do is salvage some of the iron from those railroad ties and sell them to a recycling center make a little bit of money no all right well good luck finding gold whoa <laughs> Move. i'm trying to hey careful you don't know what's in there no there's only one way to find out i just got did you find something yeah i think i got something is it alive no, it's not moving, so it's not alive. Ah! <laughs> Your face is... Yeah, really, really funny, Jess. You know, if you ever really need me to save you, you probably shouldn't be crying wolf now. What? You wouldn't come rescue me if I needed it? Maybe I wouldn't. No. Get out of here. So what is this? Reach around. Yeah. 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 You feel it? Yeah. I don't know if we just move this piece, maybe we can. Yeah, do that. yeah, yeah. Push that one. Okay, ready? It's like a journal or a diary, maybe? I don't... Yeah. Should we read it? Yeah. <laughs> We called it paradise when we first came here. We hoped that's what we'd found when we discovered what we came looking for. Gold. Oh. It seems to be over like a hundred years old. Or some college freshman put it here to fool impressionable, I really cute young girls. I told you you need to be more open to things. This is a piece of history, real history. Should we even move him? 
Yeah, as opposed to leaving him here in the streets, I suppose maybe we should bring him to a hospital. Come on. Grab him by the shoulder. Lift him back, then get under. All right, buddy. We're gonna lift you? Oh, oh, fuck! All right, I know it hurts. Listen, we're gonna get you help. All right, we need your help on this one. I'm gonna take you home. We're gonna get you help. First aid kit, anything like that? No, nothing. Not even in the trunk. You have nothing. No. What are we gonna do? What the fuck is going on out here? All right, help me. Shit. Oh, shit. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where are we going? We're going back to town. Come on, help me. Come on. Fuck. Come on. Come on. Try to get him to squeeze your hand. He can squeeze your hand to respond to you in case he can't talk. Okay. Ben, if you can hear me, squeeze my hand. <gasps> he can hear me. That's good. Rob, give me your shirt. It's okay. You're all right. You're all right. Oh it's shot. His whole body's going into shock. Here, here, come on. Help me get the shirt. It's okay. It's okay. You're all right. You're all right. No, 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 no. Here, come on, man. Here, here, you're all under there. There you go. There you go. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. 
Is he? His pulse is weak, but I can still feel it. We need to get out of here. Yeah, world's most obvious statement. Any suggestions how? We have no car and no phones. And staying here achieves what? Right, we need to get Ben to a hospital. Yeah, we have no idea what's even out there. I mean, what even did this to him? He could have tripped or, or fallen. And what about my car? All right. Maybe we're just panicking, thinking two things are connected that really have nothing to do with each other. All right, let's just say somebody stole Jess's bag and fucked up your car, and then at the same time, Ben trips or falls. I... Okay, math man. What's the probability of Ben and my car being completely coincidental? Huh? I'm just saying that... Oh, you go out there, then. We can't just stay here. We have to do something. Ben? Ben? We have to get Ben to a hospital. Otherwise, he can... I know. What can we do? We can't carry him all the way back to the highway. I know. But look, nobody's expecting us home anytime soon. They're not gonna miss us in class until Monday. <laughs> Maybe not even then. Nobody's gonna save us. We're gonna have to save ourselves. How? Somebody has to go for help. What are you guys talking about? Hub's right. Ben needs a doctor, and the only way that that's gonna happen is if somebody goes for help. So, who goes? Well, I'm not leaving Jess here alone. She's not going by herself. So you want me to go? Yeah, fine. Jess and I will go to, together. You just stay here and take care of Ben. No, look, I'll, I'll stay with Kyle. No, I said I'm not leaving you here. You're not leaving me here alone. Look, you have to go and get help so that we can get out of here and we can save Ben. No, I don't know what happened to Ben, but I don't think it was an accident. All right? We don't know what's out there. You're right, we don't know who's out there. But what we do know is that Ben needs help, and you are going to be much faster without me. I can look after Ben, and Kyle can look after me. It's the only way. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sorry. For what? It was my idea to come here. It's not your fault. But I was the one who convinced everyone to come. Yeah, but you didn't know this was gonna happen. I'm just trying to take responsibility. I mean, isn't that what I'm supposed to do? It sounds to me like you're just feeling sorry for yourself. Do you think that this is, you know, real? I'd like to think so. But it hardly seems like the most important thing right now. It says they found gold, just like they hoped. What?
Well, there's something. They're being attacked. Well, uh, according to this, in four months, the population of the town went from almost 150 people down to 30. They came for us at night. attacked by wolves. Wolves. I told you I saw one. You said you thought you saw one. I told you I saw a wolf. Why didn't you believe me? Yeah, okay, they're wolves, all right? It doesn't change anything. We still need to help Ben, your friend. Did you see them out there? They'll rip us to peace. I saw them, Kyle. It makes me feel better about everything. Better? How do you figure that? We know what we're dealing with now. Once it gets dark, we're fucked. And what, Rob? 
What, you think we're gonna be better out there? Kyle. All right, they'll fucking kill us. We're not going out Listen there. Listen to me! Stop thinking about them as wolves! All right, they're just dogs. That's all they are, just big dogs. Yeah, dogs that were fucking smart enough to have fucked up my car and nearly killed Ben. Why are you such a fucking pussy? You're too fucking chicken shit to do anything. You need a man up. Stop it, okay? Stay here and not an option. Not for Ben. Kyle, Rob is right, okay? We've got to think of them like dogs. It'll be okay. No, it won't. All right, this was just a dog. I had a dog that almost killed me when I was 12, but it says in the book it was just dogs that killed everyone that lived here. <laughs> We're gonna die if we go out there. Oh. Did you hear that? see in the dark, we can't. So you mean go out there? Look, Kyle, we've been over this, man. No matter what we do, they can get in here. It might not be five minutes, maybe it'll take an hour or two, but they're gonna get in here. So we can either wait around for them or make a run for it. I mean, but what about Ben? I mean, if we carry him, we're gonna be too slow. They're gonna, Kyle. Pick, us, they're gonna pick us off, we'll be too slow. Kyle. That sells it. We're going. We're not going. Fine. Fuck you. You stay. We'll send someone back for you. Rob, don't be such a dick. I'm not being a dick. I'm being practical. I know he's scared. Look, we're all fucking scared, Kyle. But staying here is the worst thing we could do. I mean, what about Ben? We can't leave him here. 
Kyle, we're not the fucking Rangers. I never leave a fallen comrade. It's, it's for people with guns that are highly trained. I mean, you were worried about Ben slowing us down before. How do you think it's going to be now that it's dead wet? Dead. Wait. I'm sorry, man. Look, I know this isn't the option you want. It's the only one we have. I, I've proven we can kill these things. Let's get out. Let's try and get some help. Go to the highway. Find someone. Whatever it takes to get out of here. It's either that or you stay here and, uh... You're gonna end up the same as Ben. I don't want to stay here. I know you don't want to leave him, but we have to go. Okay. Look, I am. Um, I have a flashlight in my car in the trunk. Good. <laughs> Get it on the way. these floorboards, they're kind of rotten. Let's give them a minute. Together, go building to building, head to the car, get the flashlight, get the fuck out of Dodge. Let's try this one. Saloon being trapped in here. No, it's okay. All right, we're safe, at least for now. Close to the car. And get the flashlight. Right? We could be a million miles away from the car. All right, it doesn't matter. How are we going to get past them? 
I see your car from here. You still have your keys? How many your keys do you have? Yeah, yeah, they're right here. How fast do you think you can get there? You're there and back. Not fast enough. It's like you said. All right, we're just trapped in another place. Okay, we gotta do something. I'll go. Give me the keys. I'll go. No, fuck. No, I'll go. What's your plan? I'm gonna run a diversion, okay? You get to the car, get the flashlight, and anything else you can grab, and you get your ass back here. Got it? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. You're supposed to sit and wait? No. No, you're gonna man the doors. Okay, you'll be safe in here until I get back. You promise? Yes! Yes! <laughs> Fucking punk. Go. Even take off after me. You run like hell. Got it? Got it?
I think they're staying out there. I don't know, long enough for us to find a way out of here. If bones are all human. Stand on it? Maybe. I don't think I'll be out riding any wolves. You'll be all right, I promise. Thank you. He's back. It's mine. Oh. See if there's anything useful. Well, guys, I think I left all my survival gear in my other bag. Sorry. What's up, this? Do you want to read them bedtime stories? You know, it might say something about how they fought the wolves. You know, I mean, maybe there's information in here we can use. Yeah, knock yourself out. Hey, let him read. We built paradise in the heart of the wilderness. We did what we always did, and took what we always wanted. But paradise came with a price. Because we didn't understand that paradise wasn't ours to take. So we hunted the wolves, determined to keep the town safe. But that only made things worse. Maybe they'd have been content if we just moved on and left them in peace. Now we know they won't stop until we're all dead. Not the answer you're looking for? Everybody dies? Well, maybe they didn't all die. All right? I'm just trying to help. Yeah, you're the fucking reason we're all here. And you don't think I know that? Huh? You don't think I know that Ben's dead because of me? Okay, you guys, stop. We have to work together. It's gonna take both of you to help me get out of here. Everything here belongs to the wolves, all right? They, they were here way before anybody. And it's like you said, Rob, you know, that we show up and we take what we want and kill anyone or anything that gets in our way. Which helps us how? 
They want us gone. All right, they just want to be left alone. All right, what's your plan? Huh? You want to go out here, talk to the fucking wolves, and let them know that we promised we're never going to come back? You think they're just going to let us walk away? No, we've gone way past that. We've already done exactly the same as the people in your book. All right, they're not going to leave us alone. They could have just scared us away when we got here, but they didn't. They trashed your car. They killed Ben. You think now that the fucking shit's hit the fan, they're just going to change their behavior and let us walk away? No. You look after Jess. They try and come in here. You keep them the fuck away from her. Where are you going? I'm going to go get us some dynamite. Thanks, by the way. You know, for, um, for coming to help me out there by the car. Of course. That's what we do. Besides, you fixed up my leg. You saved my ass outside. Say that makes us just about even, right? Right. How come you never asked me out? What? How come you never asked me out? You were with Rob. I mean, before that. You know, we've been in class for a better part of a year. I just wondered if you... Um... I don't know. I guess it just never seemed like the right time to. So you at least thought about it? Yeah, I mean, that's all I ever do, is think about stuff. <laughs> so how did you and Rob, you know, end up together? Well, for starters, he asked me. Okay, right, but... I mean, you liked him, right? Yeah. Right. I mean, he's a really nice guy. And uh, we've, we've only been dating for about a month or so, so it's not like we have any major commitments. We're just seeing how things go, you know? Hmm. What? I don't know. It's just, it's just when you say it like that, you make it sound so easy. Like, like everyone can do it. You know? Well, everyone can do it. 
Well, not everyone. Yeah, I wish I could. You know, it's, it's like dogs. <laughs> you know, I wish I wasn't afraid of them. I mean, believe me, I know how stupid it is. I just... Kyle. I... <laughs> it's not stupid. I mean, come on, you were attacked by a dog. You nearly died. It, it's completely understandable. It's not like you were attacked by a girl, were you? <laughs> no. I mean, you're lucky. You don't, you don't even have to worry about asking people out. You're a girl. OK. You're right. Because you know mm -hmm. what? I can't even remember the last time that I had to ask anybody out. See? Fourth grade. Cooper Brand. Well, what happened? <laughs> he said no. Hmm. Do you know that at 10 years old, I was less appealing than the latest video game? Of course. <gasps> I'm joking. <laughs> you know what, though? You're right. I'm lucky. They're all out front. I think some of them actually might be asleep. They didn't even hear me or notice me when I went outside. What's the plan? I'll explain it on the way up. That's the highway. Right. Well, I get you guys there. I'm gonna come back, lure them in, and blow them up. Okay. Can you just take it slow?
We made it. Yeah, this far. Now what? Two stay here. I got it. No. No. We don't have to kill them. It's too dangerous. Let's just go. Still three or four miles to the highway. You really want to risk it with her leg? Kyle, don't worry. These stupid dogs don't even realize we left. What are they doing? Kyle? Just stay where you are. Jess? No. Oh my god. What have they done? Showing us how they want this to end. What's gonna happen to us? And we have got to get out of here. How? Rob's plan. 
Bob's plan. Look at him, Kyle. They're just laying there dead. It's because they're out there. I think I know how I can make this one. You think or you know? Look, we are not ending up like that. We're going home. I don't want to die out here. I'm not going to let that happen to you. Besides, they're just dogs, right? Where's the letter? I don't have it. Why isn't he attacking us? He's smart. Yeah, you know what that is, don't you? That's why you didn't follow me into the lair. I thought he wanted us all dead. Not if it means he dies, too. He just wants his town back. 